guys, it's Half. I am back again, and this is going to be my introduction video for the 100 Colourful Empties. This was designed, um, created by Haley0614 on Instagram. I will leave her link down below. And basically, she came up with this idea to have 10 different colour categories and pick 10 items in each colour category to use over the course of the whole of the year. And Lena7623, otherwise known as Jess, um, she decided to do this and she's doing hers on her Facebook. Haley's doing hers on Instagram. Um, and I was watching Lena's video and I thought, I have so many projects on but I really want to do this one because it's so creative, it's such an interesting idea. So I decided at like midnight last night, <laughs> I haven't been asleep yet, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning, um, that I was going to actually do this. So I went through my stuff, I have a lot of sample type <coughs> stuff in here which you know in some ways makes it easier but it's all stuff that I want to work through, it's all stuff that I want out of my collection. Um, some of it is very challenging and some of it isn't so much. So this is going to be a bit of a longer video because there are a hundred-ish things to actually go through. Um, some of the samples I've done multiples of rather than just the one sample. Um, so. I'm going to go through colour by colour and show you the 10 things that I have actually picked. Um, yeah, and so I will go from there. So let's get into it. Okay, in the red category, we have from Natural Look, the Immaculate Bio Renew Night Care Face Cream. Uh, there will be a lot, a lot, a lot of skincare type stuff. Just letting you know in advance. Uh, the second one is this Christian Lacroix Rouge uh, perfume sample. Little, whoop, throwing it around. Just a little perfume sample. I'm not very good at using perfume. I'm trying to get better. Um, so. This is a good way of making that happen this in a project. Uh, the next one is the Sassy and Savvy uh, Facial Recovery Mask. Um, again, I'm not very good at using masks, so this could be quite challenging. I actually got quite a few masks in here. Um, <laughs> we will see how it goes. We have the Bioderma Sensibo mask. See, another mask. Uh, then we have one that is, well, it may not be that challenging, but um, if you've <coughs> been watching my channel, you'll know that I'm doing a um, project polish using all of my mini polishes. So ones that aren't in the original part of my thing, I've actually included quite a few of them in these hundred items. So I'll have even more nail polishes to work on over the year. <laughs> so the first one is Essie's Snap Happy, which is lovely bright red. And also in the red category, OPI's Ally's Big Break, which is a red with sparkles. See, sparkles. No, nope, can't see them. Okay. Um, I will swatch those later on down the track. Um, the next one is another mask. This is the Cosmetic Kitchen uh, Raw Chocolate Clay Mask. It's, um, yeah, the packaging is kind of red. Um, the Nika K Auto Lip Liner in red. Um, I have actually marked the length of those on my paper already, but I won't bother showing you until there's progress. Um, the Bite Beauty lipstick crayon thing in pomegranate. Yes, Lena, pomegranates are red. 
And the last one in the red category is the Natio Tinted Lip Balm in Smile. This has not been touched at all. <coughs> so that's the red category. Next I will do the orange category. I have the Palmer's. I actually have a few things from Palmer's in this. Um, these are two samples, but I'm going to count them as one. So this one is the Facial Cleansing Oil, and this one is the Perfecting Facial Oil. So ones you put on to take stuff off, and one you put on to make stuff better, I guess. Uh, then I have these weird little ampule things. They are from... Uh, Guiliani Monoderma Exfoliating Anti-Wrinkles Vitamin A Retinol These two little things As I said, I have a lot of skincare in here A lot of it is sample stuff So they'll go through fairly quickly But there are a lot of them um, The next one is the Palm Olive Oil Infusions Body Moisturizer this might only be a sample, but I have a buttload of body lotion in this particular challenge. So the small ones at least will get used quite quickly. Uh, then we have some nail polish. We have Natio's Sunflower and OPI Rising Star. Then we have the Kerastase Nectar Thermique, which is a heat protective type thing. I don't often um, put heat in my hair, so that could be a long time before that gets used. Um, I also suck in another nail polish, it's sort of orange. Uh, this is the Nails Ink Caviar Top Coat. It's, yeah, it's kind of orange. Kinda. Um, the, I missed one, Palmer's Moisturising Day Cream, uh, another body illusion, I have a lot of them coming up, um, I have this a big container of Schwarzkopf Oil Nutriv, it's a little dirty, it's been in my bathroom, um, Anti-Split Ends Mask, um, this is, here's, full basically so that is going to take ages to use up and as I said it's a bit dirty and the last thing is this original source daily scrub in blood orange has not actually been touched at all so that's everything in the orange category Alright, so next we have the yellow slash gold category. Um, the first thing is this Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue Eau de Parfum Spray. As you can see, it has not even been taken out of the plastic yet. So that'll be good. Uh, next is the Ombra SPF 30 Light Fill Moisturizing Lotion. This is actually from Audi's. It's actually... Pretty much down where this bottom line is. Um, this shouldn't take too long. This is pretty much what I've been using most days at the moment. Um, I have two. Oh. These are the Lacura Twin Phase. Vita serums. Um, they're the kind that you have to like shake up. Um, so I have two of those. These came out of the advent calendar that Lacura Beauty actually did. Um, I have a whole pile of those, and yeah, so it could take a little while. Um, I also have the Lacura Cuvi Royale anti aging with. QT40 Luminous Serum Concentrate. It's got these weird little ball things in it. Man, it doesn't look like it's 
Um, I know it doesn't look like very much, but serums you don't tend to use very much, and I have a lot of them in this project. <laughs> could pretty much just about use one a week, and I might get through them all. Uh, next is the Nooks multi-purpose dry oil face body hair oil um, there's you know, a fair bit in there <laughs> but we'll get there and then we have the butt naked uh, bath boutique this is uh, the same people who make Mia now lacquer which doesn't exist anymore but I'm pretty sure butt naked still does um, luxurious talc free body powder in Satsuma. Satsuma is my favourite scent. Um, that's the um, Body Shop one. It's about there in this. <coughs> um, for nail polish in this category, because you know, you gotta have a nail polish. Um, this is Ollie's glow stick, which will make my camera freak out because it has neon yellow. Then I have this Nutramedics Instant Radiance Beauty Balm, just a little sample. I have <coughs> the L'Oreal LV Nourishing Mask for dry hair, so that's on top of the other mask, the big container mask. Um, and the last one in the yellow category is this Lon Vita Light um, 24 karat gold active gold eye mask. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's like a one use type thing, but I don't really do masks too much, and that one just seems weird. Okay, we are on to the blue category. So the first thing we have is the John Frieda Fine to Full Spray Stuff. This is like blowout spray, so let's put it in before you blow dry it, as I said before. I don't blow dry my hair very often or heat treat my hair very often. But I suppose if I have to use something like this, I might actually do that. And then I have another serum because I don't have enough already. Uh, this is the Clinique Turnaround Concentrate Visible Skin Renewer. Um, yeah, so that's that one. This is completely full. It's a deluxe size sample, I think, or it might be full size, I'm not sure. <laughs> Then we have the Eslaw Botanical Peeling Gel. This is basically like a mask type thing. Um, a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Body Butter type thing. Yeah, no, small samples, those ones. Um, then we have more serums to add on top of all the other serums. This is the La Cura Oxy Serum, and there's actually three of them. That's the those ones. Oops. Um, then I have these four little samples from Germain de Cappuccini Hydra Cure. They're all kind of the same, but kind of different. They're just little samples of a um, hydrating cream stuff. I got these while I was at beauty school. Like we kept getting samples of these. I've got some other ones in some of the other categories. Um, and then I was talking about having body cream in here. The Physiogel Hypoallergenic Daily Moisture Therapy Intensive Cream. This one is for very dry, sensitive skin. And it's 101. <coughs> and I also have in here, as a different one, the Physiogel Daily Moisture Therapy Cream for dry, sensitive skin. So the other one's for very dry, and this one is just for dry. I'm sure they're probably exactly the same. Um, this one is 150 mil. As you can see, I haven't even been taken out of the boxes. So, like, yeah. Um, yeah, so I have 
two of those. And then I have a couple of nail polishes just to make life more interesting. Um, this one is Orly's Angel Rain, which is so gorgeous. And Elf Stark Navy. So that's everything in the blue category. And now we have the green category. This is the Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter. Kind of green, kind of greeny blue, but close enough to green for me. And we have uh, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This is the first of several mascaras that are in this. Uh, this one is in black brown. I love me some Clump Crusher. Then I have these two serums. I'm not sure if they're the same or different, but it's from the same company. Barmany. Barmany. I don't know. This came out of a sample box. And there's these two things. I'm going to have to look them up online and find out what they're supposed to do. But one says hydrating eye and face serum with hyaluronic acid. The other one doesn't say anything. So, not really sure what's going on there, but I will uh, look them up. And if I can't find what I'm supposed to do with them, then I might not actually use them. But then they'll be out of my collection. Uh, then we have the Innis Free, the Green Tea Seed Serum, yet another serum. Um, I also have two other things from Innis Free in this. Um, then we have, where is it? The... Macadamia oil, natural oil hair care. <coughs> uh, it's basically just an oil for an oil treatment for hair, like just a leave-in treatment. Then I have a chlorine shampoo and conditioner. This is like just one together. This I, is shampoo and conditioner with quinine and B vitamins. I don't know what that's like on coloured hair, so that'll be interesting. I have the Cibamed Anti-Dry Dermasoft Wash, wash Emulsion, um, which is a wash, but it doesn't really say where you're supposed to use it. But it's kind of like a thing on the side of it. It's supposed to be good for dry skin. Um, then I have um, this Zukin Organic Skin Care. It's like a little trio of samples. It's like three different things, like a serum and a lotion and a purifying gel. So that's those are all one. Um, and then I have these three samples which I'm counting as one. One is the a new retroactive youth extending cream with sunscreen and then two more from Germain de Cappuccini. Um, these are both different types of day cream type things. And the last thing is a nail polish. And this is Revlon's Moss, which is a kind of yucky green, but it's still green. So that's everything in the green category. If we go on to purple, um, we have this Innisfree Orchid Enriched Cream. It's a lovely little purple container. Um, and I guess it's purple because of the orchid thing. Then we have these Jamberry wraps that I got at some point in time. I don't like Jamberry wraps, but I am determined to use these and I happen to be purple. So there we go. <coughs> and I have two more samples from Germain de Cappuccini. These ones are I. They're both exactly the same. These are I um, 
creams, two different types of eye cream. Um, I think one's a night cream and one's a day cream. Okay, so this one here's a night mask and this is a day cream. So there's two of those. Um, then I have the Versace Crystal Noir. Crystal Noir Eau de Toilette. Not necessarily my favourite scent, but still. Um, and even though the box is black, the actual bottle is more purple than black. When you can see light through it, which you probably can't, but trust me, it's purple. Then we have some nail polishes. We have the we have Orly Charged Up and OPI Lincoln Park After Dark, which is a super dark purple. And I have the NSI Nutri Oil. This is a cuticle oil. It smells like lavender. It's actually really, really nice. I like that one. The LA Colors Bold Color Lash Mascara in Vivid Violet, which literally is purple. Um, and then I have the Jordana Quick Liner in Wild Orchid, which is clearly purple. I have marked how long that one actually is. And lastly in the purple category is the Maybelline Master Smoky in Smoldering Violet which is like a crayon pencil type thing and I have marked how long that is. There's actually not that much in here and it's brand new. So there's everything in the purple category. Next we have the pink category and first of all we have another mascara. We have the LA Colors Bold Lash in Poppin Pink. Yes, pink mascara. I own pink. It's chrome pink uh, mascara. Because, you know, everyone needs pink mascara eventually. Um, we have the Eco Lips Eco Tint in Rose Quartz. This has not even been opened. Uh, we have the Satin Lip Liner in Rosewood, which not a huge amount of that left. I actually have another one of those, but not in the project. I just have another one of them. I also have the Kmart Nude Lip Liner, another one that is quite short. Uh, nail polish, I have L'Oreal's Opera Ballerina, which is a super duper pale pink. I have the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB 8 in 1 BB Cream. This one happens to be in medium, so I'll have to mix it with a moisturizer to make it actually work for me, but I will make it work actually with two of these. Um, next is the L'Oreal Base Magic. This is just a sample of that particular primer and the packaging is pink. Um, we have another foundation type thing. Um, the Pons Flawless White BB Plus Whitening Expert BB Cream in Light. I'm currently using the other one of these that's not in this version. I think it's the anti-aging version of it. Um, more body cream. The Grace and Cole, the Grace Cole Wild Fig and Pink Cedar body lotion. This hasn't actually been opened. It's actually only filled up to there, but I've never actually used this. And lastly, in the pink category, the L'Oreal El Vive. Um, this is the anti hair fall leave in root spray. Next category is the grey slash silver category. Uh, first up, we have this one's a little bit of a stretch, but anyway, 
the Innisfree Super, Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. It's the Pekinic Brown, but it's kind of grey. Close enough. <laughs> Next, I have these two samples. This is Canada's one from um, Trans Ageless Beauty, I think it is, or Trans Formulas. One of them is a facelift in a jar, and the other one is increased loop volume without stinging. So, they sound interesting. Then we have the Clarice Sea Salt Rapid Detox Charcoal Exfoliant. That was a mouthful. <laughs> um, a couple of nail polishes. One is Revlon's Sparkle, which is separated, but, um, which is more of a uh, topper than an actual nail colour. And the other one is Orly's Shine. And we have BYS's Pearlized Eyeliner, like liquid eyeliner. This is like in a charcoal dark charcoal grey colour but it's kind of shiny at the same time then I have this colour theory eye pencil in charcoal so like a dark grey um, LA Colours Bold Lash Mascara in silver chrome yes, silver and yes it really is silver how cool is that? I told you there were some mascaras in this. And lastly, I have two depotted eyeshadows. One is in a silvery grey. And the other is just a slightly deeper, darker version thereon. So, see how we go with those. 2017, year of the eyeshadows. So that is everything in the grey-silver category. Okay, we are at black. First up we have Harley, Harvey Prince Sincerely. This is... Uh, has not actually been used at all. But it's only a like, deluxe size sample. We have the Biology Equilibrium Body Lotion number 304. Uh, apparently the body wash is 303. Go figure. This is a fairly small body cream, so it might be that I use all the small ones first and then move on to the bigger ones. Uh, next we have the Fashionista um, Fashion Secret Vanishing Cream. This is a Primer, which I really need to use up this year. I have the LOL Black Eyeliner. Um, and also the Longcom Black Eyeliner. I'm going to use up both of those. And we have the Revlon Customize Mascara in blackened brown but the packaging is fine um, the ambience dry shampoo right, because the packaging is black this is a like a powder dry shampoo not a spray it has a fluffy thing it just had stuff go everywhere um, you got to try not to tip it upside down, and clearly somebody did at some point, because it's all in the top, and it's just gone everywhere. And that is not a cheap, cheap product. Um, this one is yeah, a, a, a little bit of a stretch, and it's quite a small sample, but it still probably take me a couple of uses. Is the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. It's just a little sample thingy. And another sample is the A New Ultimate Elixir from Avon. 
And lastly, in the black category, is actually three nail polishes that will all count as one. And the reason is because they're black, and because I do so much nail art, using black up is actually not that hard. It's actually pretty simple. So I have L'Oreal's Black Swan. This, is, this one needs like three coats to be black, so this should be used it's like right there already. And then I have two from Orly. One is liquid vinyl and the other is blackout. And this one is down about there already. And this one is about there. They probably won't take that much work, depending on what kind of nail art I do. <coughs> Last category is white. So I have the Fashion Secret from Fashionista Skin Brightening Face Highlighter in Sunshine. It's a huge container. I will probably mix it in with moisturizer or foundation. Then I have the Blossom Kosher uh, Roma Magic Coffee Bean Scrub. I really liked a different um, cleanser that I had from them, like a sample. I, so I'm quite looking forward to using this. And I have a couple of samples from Oligodermi, which are going to be one. So I have a lightening serum and a hydroprotective fluid. Then I have from Lacura the QV Royal Anti-Aging 24-Hour Intensive Face Mousse, basically a face moisturizer. Um, from Madara, I have the Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. It's only a sample, but you don't use much when you do eye cream. I have the Avon Nutra Effects Radiance Night Cream. I told you there's lots of skincare in this. Good to go top coat. Um, the lid's white. And I also have this one with a little bit of a stretch. Uh, L'Oreal's Boho look, which has a topper, but it has, even though it's kind of pink, it has, I don't know if you can see, but it has white flowers in it. Um, and then I have the CoverGirl Exact Lights Mascara. This one is actually in black sapphire, but the packaging's white. And lastly, I have this Maybelline Color Tattoo, which is sort of white. It's not really white, but it's close enough to white. Um, in Too Cool, which is about half empty. So I'm going to attempt to use that up this year. So that is everything in the white category and everything that is in this particular project. I will basically only update with things that I've used up or actually used because clearly not everything is going to get used right from the get-go. It'll be used in sort of bit by bit as I work through. So um, when I do updates, that will be the way that I actually do it. Um, probably update month or every six weeks or so. So again I will link uh, Jess and Hayley down below their two respective places for you to catch up with them. Um, if you want to subscribe click down below. Don't forget to click the bell so you get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like project panning type use it up type uh, videos and there'll be a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!